Kenneth. Yes. Kenneth. Please. <laughs> if you would. Okay. Tell me, what are some musical influences that have um, yeah, struck you in your life? Do you find that they progress with each? Yeah, I'll give you the the timeline of my musical influences. Yes. So here's how it, how it started. First musical memory was Van Morrison and Credence. That was what my dad listened to, like on car rides and stuff. And so there, there was that first, and that has come full circle to be a huge inspiration in, in my music now. My first tape that I bought, I think, was Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood, when I was like, you know, seven maybe or something. Like, I heard the song, and I was like, oh, this is fun, like, and I found the tape and I bought it. Okay, so we'll fast forward to like 12, um, you know, like 10 through 12, started getting into like Nirvana and Green Day and stuff like that, you know, the alternative rock scene of the 90s. And then once I hit like 13, uh, I found Face to Face and No Effects. Like I found No Effects because like their record was called Punk and Drug Luck and someone was like telling me that punk was cool. I was like, oh, I'll check that out. And so that was uh, a big one for me. I was big on the school bus and face to face big choice and then from there you know um, like found Jimmy Eat World and Get Up Kids and that whole world and then um, starting in like 04, 05 I started getting heavy into Radiohead and then I think from there like my influences kind of snowballed into a bunch of stuff because you know Radiohead just has so much going into their stuff that like from that I started listening to electronic music and, and um, you know, started listening to more jazz and stuff like that. And I love like Mingus and and, uh, and a lot of soul now. Like I love James Brown and Chris Mayfield. And it's just all over the place now. Here's our last song. Thanks for listening. All right.